remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Earlier this week, Snoop Dogg issued an apology to Gail King after he said a conversation with his mother convinced him to have a change of heart. Snoop took some heat because of his response to Gail King's interview with Lisa Leslie, where she asked Lisa Leslie probing questions about Kobe Bryant's sexual assault case and his character as a man. Snoop Dogg, being a friend of Kobe's, didn't take too kindly of the line of questioning. So he went in on Gail King and he used some very uh, choice words. I think we're all familiar with those words by now. So how did Gail King respond to Snoop Dogg's apology? Did she issue an apology of her own? No, but she did issue a response. She said, I accept the apology and understand the raw emotions caused by this tragic loss. As a journalist, it is sometimes challenging to balance doing my job with the emotions and feelings during difficult times. I don't always get it perfect, but I'm constantly striving to do it with compassion and integrity. Yeah, right. I don't believe you. I watch you, I watch you, I watch you intensely and I don't see compassion and I don't see integrity, at least not for my people, you know, not for the black community. I don't see that. I just don't see it. Um, perhaps you do it for other people, but I don't see it for the black community. I just don't see it. Uh, so Snoop was man enough to issue an apology. Why is it that Gail King has still not issued an apology? Snoop said two wrongs don't make a right. He didn't say one wrong don't make a right. He said two wrongs don't make a right. So if Snoop felt that he was wrong, it's obvious that he felt like he was wrong since he apologized. But where's the other half of the wrong? That's Gail King, right? Why hasn't she apologized? See, that's the only thing that gets me. Is that like, you know, if, 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 if I'm wrong and I'm apologized, then, you know, well, I can only speak for myself and me being genuine, right? But, so you can't make somebody else apologize. If you, if you truly feel that you were wrong about something and you apologize, then that is for you and your, your comfort, right? But an apology also is a first step in reconciling uh, a difference, a grievance, right? So where is Gail King's apology? Does she care about the grievance that she caused? Like all of this started with her questioning Lisa Leslie and trying to drag Kobe. She started all of this. Now she's the victim. Now she demands an apology. An apology is required to her. This highly weird stuff is really weird to me. Like, this ain't real life to me. This is not reality. This is not the world that I live in. This is why I don't change my convictions based on what Holly Weird says. I don't watch television. You cannot program me into what these people are doing on these shows and what these athletes are doing and... and Rappers and singers and entertainers. That's why they call it programming. You watch these people long enough. You study them. You know, it's like we're all impressed by people who do exceptional, exceptionally well with their gifts. 
you know, that's natural. That's a human nature, and that, that's, that's okay. But when these people who have these skewed ideas of reality and, and these, they have this mad scientist type of persona, and they try to project their weird ass values on the rest of us, and we take it in just because we're fans. There's something wrong with that to me. I'm in the entertainment business. Been in the game for 30 years. I've made my money. I continue to make money. But I stand for something. And I could have made a whole lot more money if I had played the game like they wanted me to play it. I can't do it. A peace of mind is too valuable to me. Integrity is too valuable to me. Uh, some of these people are the devil. Uh, it, it's no other way to describe them. They are devils. And it's not just the people in the entertainment industry. A lot of people go under the radar, like executives for these 500 companies, these Fortune 500 companies. There are a lot of devils who are in management positions at these companies. And not just the big companies. I mean, the bigger they are, the more corrupt. But you know how they say power corrupts absolute, power corrupts absolutely. But even if you go to like a Jack in the Box, McDonald's, Popeye's, managers, some of these people who are in positions of authority are just evil. Look at the clergy. Many other people at the top, evil. Look at education. Many of those people that are on the school board, superintendents, principals, evil. Politics, top. Senators, congressmen, mayors, state reps, Constables, JPs, evil, just evil, a lot of evil people, all in construction. A lot of these businesses and stuff, they look like even in medicine, you know, uh, healthcare industry, you know, they, they look presentable, you know, it's like doctor, lawyer, scientist, you know, hmm, 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 and Look square, harmless, unassuming, evil as hell. That's why before you go anywhere, before you walk into a club, before you start hanging out with a certain kind of crowd or a person, before you engage with a person romantically, before you go to a, the new school on the other side of town, start hanging out with who you think is the in crowd. You got to know who you are before you become famous. Because if you don't know who you are before you come, become famous, if you don't understand that the opportunities that you will be getting is because of that fame. If you start getting to a point like Bev, Biv, and Devote, I thought it was me, you are going to lose your damn mind, especially when things are not going as well as planned because your career trajectory can be like that for a moment and then boom, then boom, boom. You cannot allow your brain to do that too. When your career is doing this, you gotta be like this the whole time. Never get too high, never get too low, boom. And no matter what that opportunity is, you have to say to yourself, there's certain things that I will do and there's certain things that I'm not gonna do. It's more important to know what you're not gonna do. No more talk.
what, what the ladies talking about.